Alrighty guys, today we're gonna to be talking about how to run a fecal. This girl right here is Wanda, and we suspect her of having a higher parasite count than some of the other goats. Now the reasons we think this, um, she has a rougher looking coat, it's not quite as shiny as some of the other goats, and she's not holding weight as well as some of the other goats that are her age. Plus she just had babies, and typically you'll see a goat's parasites count spike as soon as they have babies. So first step, we have to actually get the poop. Now I'm not going to go into too much detail, but whenever you're doing this, you wanna wear rubber gloves, obviously. You're gonna go inside the goat's backside and then scoop your finger up a little bit and you'll feel a little pocket where all the poop is stored. If I'm ever doing stuff with goats by myself, the easiest way that I've found to work with them is we use plastic collars on all of our goats. They're breakaway collars, so if they were ever to get stuck in a tree, they would break off and not actually hurt the goat. But I take a carabiner, hook it on that collar, and then hook it to the fence. That way they're restrained with just one person. So let's go ahead and get that fecal sample. So typically, whenever you're getting a fecal sample, you wanna get two pellets from the goat. We'll talk about it later, but that gives you enough sample to add the solution, strain everything, and still have enough for the parasites to rise and be able to test them. It's just a good number to work with. Now with Wanda, the poop I just got is a little bit mushy. That's also another sign of parasites. So I can't get exactly two pellets, but what I'm going for is about two grams of poop. One pellet is equal to roughly about one gram of poop. So I got the sample. I'm gonna go ahead and twist my glove inside out. And this is what we'll add the solution to later to actually test for parasites. Alrighty, so I have Wanda's poop right here and it's about two grams of poop. The ratio that we're gonna use is 15 cc's of the fecal solution for every one gram of goat poop. We have, like I said, two grams of goat poop, which means we're gonna use 30 cc's of the fecal solution. If you want to be exact, you can use a scale to weigh the goat poop, but I've weighed enough before to know that this is around two grams. I have my measuring cup right here and I'm pouring 30 cc's of the solution into the glove. The next step is to mash up all the poops so that there's no big chunks getting stuck in our strainer or going into the slide. The next step is taking it over to the sink and straining it out. So this is what I use and I have found easy I take the test tube and I put it inside the drain of the sink and then I can take my strainer put it on top and pour the solution from the glove into the strainer I tap the top of the strainer a few times that way everything flows through really easily so, Okay, if a little bit spills you don't have to get hundred percent of the solution into the test tube So it's about a fourth of the way full which is totally fine. The next step is the easiest part We're gonna wait about ten minutes for all of the parasites to rise to the top of the test tube Next we're taking this dropper and going around the top outer edge of the test tube to draw up all the parasites That's where all they're all gonna lay then you can take the dropper and go to put the solution inside your McMaster slide. You don't have to fill up the entire square, just the entire blue column on each side of the McMaster slide. Now we can go and put it inside our microscope. I like to use this lens right here. The two main knobs we're gonna use are this one right here to adjust the focus and these two to make the slide go front and back and side to side. And now we can start reading. All we're gonna do is go through each column slowly counting the number of parasites that we see. So this is what I'm looking at on the microscope right now, and you might think, oh my gosh, it looks like a lot of parasites, but that's not the case. This right here is pollen. These right here are tiny little air bubbles, and this is just debris. So there's nothing on this slide that raises a concern. Now the image isn't super good, but this right here is a hamacus egg. Here's a better picture. This is the main thing we're looking out for when reading these samples. The grand total number of hamacus eggs that I found in Wanda was 15, which is pretty high for our herd. We tend to average anywhere from two to seven hamacus eggs per goat. Alrighty, so we just ran a fecal on one of our goats, Wanda, and her parasite count was a little bit high. The primary parasite that I saw when reading the fecal was hamacus. The medication that we use to treat hamacus is ivermectin. It also goes by algramectin, or what we have here is noramectin. So there's a couple different name brands, but it's all the same medication. It's an oral medication, and the dosage is one cc for every 25 pounds. Wanda is a younger mini Nubian goat that's around 70 25 pounds, so we're gonna draw up three cc's to dose her with. And all the products that we're using will be listed in the description below. That way you have a list of everything you need to get started. So when it comes to giving goats medication, there's one very important factor that we can use to our advantage. And that's that goats are ruminant animals, meaning they have bottom teeth in the front of their mouth, but no top teeth. Now in the back, they do have top and bottom teeth. But what that means is that we can put our thumb in the front of their mouth to keep their mouth open. Then we can take our syringe and put it in the cheek of the goat's mouth to give them the medication. So we're gonna go and do that with Wanda right now. You'll notice I took my thumb and just gently rubbed her neck. That just kind of makes them swallow so they're not spitting out any of the medication that you give them. But Wanda took that like a champ, and now we'll do another fecal in a few weeks to see how much the ivermectin caused the parasites to drop. Thanks so much for watching, and we will go to you later.